Welcome to this short video. Today I'll be showing you second version of my simple LM399 base reference board. When I made my last revision of this board, I received quite a few small feedbacks from EEB Clock Forum members. So I made few improvements in this board, accumulating the suggestions from EEB Clock Forum members. First improvement is reverse polarity protection. Now you can see in this corner a P channel MOSFET and a resistor forming a reverse polarity protection circuit. Now this circuit can save itself from damage caused by reverse polarity. With reverse polarity protection, this little LED showing you the power status to the board. One major change to open circuit is this 1K 10 turn pot. This pot is in the series with 10 ppm gain setting resistors. With the help of this pot, now it is possible to adjust the output voltage level to be absolutely 10 volts. There are few minor changes in the PCB as well. The slots around this reference chip are a little wider to easily accumulate foam cap. Something like this. There are few minor changes on the cell screen as well, indicating input voltage and polarity and output voltage and polarity. This port is currently powered from my bench power supply and consuming 23 milliam. Let, now let's look at my Keysight 34465A. This unit has been up since quite some time. As you can see, we have collected data over 27 hours and 30 minutes. We can also save logged samples into a file, but my 34465A has limited memory of 50,000 samples. But this unit is upgradable to 2 mega samples as well. With 2 mega sample memory, you can log for quite some time. The good thing right now is, at the moment, there is an offer from Keysight, which is a really generous offer. If you buy a new 34465A or 34470A, you will get a free memory upgrade. And this offer is valid till 31 March 2019. So if you buy this unit right now, you will receive a free code to activate true mega sample memory. The trend chart what you are looking at right now is intentionally logged over a large temperature variation from 14 degree to 27 degree. The trend chart what you see on the screen is the output voltage from the board and the voltage is intentionally recorded over a long period of time and over a large temperature variation from 14 degrees to 27 degrees. 27 degrees is sitting up here somewhere and 14, 14 degrees is down in the bottom. I started logging with heating turned on in my room to high. So this initial jump which you see in the beginning here is ambient temperature rising up because of my room heating. And then when I went to sleep, I turned off the heating as it's quite cold outside. So temperature from 27 degrees to drop slowly to around 14 degrees and settle down in the daytime and when I came back in the next evening I turned on the heating in my room once again to quite high and the temperature quickly jumps to 27 degrees and I stopped the re recording here. This looks like quite a large change in the plot but if you look at the scale on the right it's in tens of microvolt range which is quite low if we do all the, the board is still in the within specification and this large change what you see here is may not be because of the reference chip itself but the op amp circuitry around it and this plot is recorded while the board was not insulated if we insulate the board from environment it will perform even better so that is it with the board soon i'll collect more data 
This is a completely open source project, so you can find PCB source and Gover file on my GitHub account or on my website www.circuitvalley.com.